<laughs> yep, there it is. Yeah, she's. I say in the game one. I right, like that. Oh yeah, shine especially in this matchup. So good. I came off to like a pretty strong start. Ooh. Okay, yep, yeah. Whiskers knocked him down. Uh, didn't tech chase off of it. Probably wasn't sure if he was actually gonna land the forward tail and just like blocked. I like his movement though. He's moving around the stage real nicely. Yeah, there is double jump armor just allowing him to get like a punish off of that into the edge guard. You have to be really careful, like, when you, like, can break, break the, like, double jump armor, but you can't necessarily, like, get any continuous follow-ups, because then Yoshi still has, like, minimal hit stun. That's good, though, fading the air away. Oh, another forward smash. Alright, nice back air, cleans up the stock. Yeah, yeah, at this percent, like, Fox has to worry a little bit more. He's gonna be... A lot of Yoshi's moves at this percent are just gonna knock him down. So, he doesn't want to get knocked down, because if he gets knocked down and he doesn't tag, he gets, like, down smashed, or he gets tech chase down smashed. That was good tech. Oh, that was a really good shield drop. It was like in between the first and second hit. I like that. Yo, what's up, dude? Yo, get on. Let's do it. Feel bad for Kata, dude. <laughs> he's like doing all right, but no, like he is. Yeah, uh, he's like um, he's one of those foxes who uh, who thinks that everyone should play Fox and Falco and oh, Falcon because okay. it's like how he thinks the game is supposed to be played. <laughs> And then, like, doesn't practice any other matchup and gets mad that other people are subjecting him to floaties. That's hilarious. So I didn't expect him to uh, know what he was doing against yeah. Yoshi. He looks, like, solid in neutral. Yeah, but, uh, like, he's got the drills, right? Yeah, uh, and just, like, fading away from, like, Yoshi on platforms when he hits the shield, stuff like Little things like that. <laughs> that forward tilt. Oh, I like that. Yeah, he did, like, the double jump. Yeah, it does seem like he's uh yeah, like he knows how to like nickel and dime Yoshi. Yes. But like But then he gets hit. <laughs> Whiskers wick nickel and dimes no one. He's got like the dollar bills. Yeah. <laughs> Whiskers is making it rain. <laughs> Dude the double rolls. Yoshi's roll is so funny. It's just like you would think you'd be able to react and just catch it. Cause it's like kinda slow. Yeah, but then there's like aren't there no iframes at the end of like there's no, uh, if, if Yoshi rolls back and forth, there's no point in which he's vulnerable, is there? Uh, I think that's like a special property of his shield. Well, as long as the shield is up, you can't hit him. Right. But, uh... But most mean, people have, like, yeah, uh, you can hit him during iframes at the end of their roll? Yeah. Does I, Yoshi? I think so. I think okay. his roll is like a normal roll. Just hard. Alright, Stadium. This is the, the counter pick. Yeah, I'm sure FD got banned. Most likely, yeah. Yoshi really struggles on FD. Yeah, I mean, like, the more space you put between, uh, the more horizontal space you put and the less platforms, uh, the better you are. Yeah, Yoshi gets a lot And this has the second most horizontal space and least platforms. So, it's, like, a pretty easy, uh, like, if you're thinking, like, oh, what do I counterpick against Yoshi? Yeah. Just, just whatever has the least platforms. That's your, that's your choice. Although I don't think Yoshi's is actually that bad. I like yeah, because you guys kill Yoshi early and like put a lot yeah. of pressure on him. You can it's just kind of continually drill him. When you get hit, is that's when it's rough on Yoshi's. That's kind of true on FD too, though, and it's still like a good stage. Yeah. <laughs> Armor through the back hit. Yeah. Oh Jesus! All right. That's like low key, pretty hard to deal with. Yeah, it's a challenge. I mean, you don't want to fuck around with it. Yeah, if so you, uh, oh, oh, what's going on? Uh, Kata, no. This is uh, some he, spaghetti right here. Okay. All right. Yeah. Nice up. I mean, after like most characters in that situation would be fine, but like yeah. Yoshi still didn't have his double jump after all that shenanigans. So. 
Ooh, he like drilled, but then yeah. like, but then hit the landed hard box. too late. Yeah, yeah that shit, that stuff sucks, dude. Just like drilling a Samus, you <laughs> finally called out her crouch cancel, and she just gets real skinny and down smashes <laughs> you. It's the worst. Missed your next follow up. Oh. I'm surprised that upper didn't hit. The Yoshi one? Yeah. Yeah. I'd say the Whiskers movement's really nice. Ooh, big damage. Nice. Is that death? That is. Wow. It looked like it wasn't gonna for a second. Yeah, it's hard, because Yoshi uh he's pretty light. I mean not light, sorry, he's um he doesn't fall super fast. Yeah, so but, uh, but he's heavy, so he's it's like bad, yeah. He's uh one of the heaviest in the game. He's incredibly like, fast. I think second heaviest. And right? it's like a huge deal because um the way you calculate double jump armor is actually the exact same formula as crouch canceling, and it's like hugely weight dependent. So if he wasn't as heavy as he was, he wouldn't be able to armor through like anything that he does. Oh wait, so is it better in PAL then? By is like it? a small margin? Because Yoshi's what? heavier in PAL. Oh shit, probably. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Yeah, he's a 108 in a NTSC, and I think 111. Yeah, I remember learning that because there was some like, back in like 2015, Ice had a tier list that he posted, like a PAL tier list, and oh, it had yeah. like Falco at sixth and Yoshi at second. It was it insane. Was, I remember that. That, that. that was wild. I'm like, he still has the flaws that Yoshi has, despite. Nice. Ooh, that was good. That's like true. I mean, Yoshi can do like dummy SDI to try and get out of it, but like. Once they armor through the first up air, yeah, it's, they don't. Uh, they don't have so a good, free to get the second. Yeah, they don't have like a good falling option, and they don't drift like well enough. Absolutely not. Which is like, thank God, you know, because if they yeah. like lost their double jump and you still couldn't hit them, Yoshi be... might just be amazing. I, I don't know. I don't agree going down to the tree for Yoshi or for Fox. Uh, I, I think it's like honestly more than any character like. Uh, win or loss in the in the pit. I think if you're like at 100, percent you want it. The like the, the the ratio is always good for you. Yeah, I guess you could always abuse the tree and tech. Yeah, the exactly. Game. It's just like oh, the, the best and worst case scenarios are both fine. If you're at 100, percent it's worth going for. Wow, we should grab that. I'm waiting for like something dumb to happen. Cause I know, I know it's gonna happen. What? Did you like turn around? Yes. Oh. All right. All right, Kata on the board. Good job, Kata. This dude's pretty good. I don't think I've heard of him. Is he like Kata? Yeah. He's Long Island. Oh, okay. He lives in New York now, but um, he's like very good fox. Like, I would super expect him. To make upsets in very specific matchups, uh, and also drop to any down smashing peach. <laughs> Dude, I mean, he's gotten a little better about it, but like, I mean, he lives with two fox mains, oh, okay, and that's yeah. like most of his practice nowadays. Yeah, when you only practice fox, that is. It's really annoying, because he just makes every bracket he's in worse. Because he just like loses that. He just like beats all of the fastballers, and then loses, and then loses to any floaty. <laughs> You know, when you gotta Ooh. play like when you play against a character like Yoshi, you need to wait a lot more. Yeah. Like, find openings, abuse the abuse the matchup. Yeah, that's like this is the matchup I think that you find like DJ like most like shaking his head at the rest of us because yeah. we're all trying to do shit and he's just sitting there like waiting for Yoshi to fall on him. And yeah, it's funny. Oh no! He's dead. Oh, that was wow. Okay, that's a way to do that. That's definitely the the Fox classic where you do the side B of the ledge, instant side B on stage. Damn, that egg did 10. That's so much. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that might have been stale, too. <laughs> I think it does 11 on stale, actually. That's like, I think one of the most underrated aspects in which melee differs from, uh, like, Ultimate and Wii U is just how much damage moves do. Like, you ever see um, someone do, like, a full combo? Like, even, like, a melee-length combo yeah, in, like, yeah. a newer game, and it just does, like, 35 damage. Yeah, it's like... The moves in Ultimate, either do they do like 2% or do they do like 20%? Yeah. With like no in between. And if they do 20%, there's no way you get more than one. Yeah. I, uh, I just realized it's 3 to 1. 
Yeah, I think this is kind of end of the road. Like, that's a uh, kind of, like, Pokemon skews the matchup so hard that it's like, if you know what you're doing, you should be able to, like, a bad Fox player who, like, knows the Yoshi matchup, like, could beat Amsa there, yeah. theoretically. But it's just, like, not what matters. Like, the real advantage in this matchup is just that you get freebies, and then you have to play him on a stage like this, and you actually have to, like, better player them. Yeah, because you can't, like, they're going to sit on platforms and shield drop and shit. Yeah. So, like, the real thing is it's, like, the reason it's a good matchup is because you get one for free. You only have to win one match. <laughs> but this is looking up. Uh, oh, I thought he was going to dash attack chase, yeah, tech chase him. That would have been really good. Yeah, that's it. Over, right? Solid showing by Kato. Yeah, he did no, better than I thought he would. He looked really good in the matchup. 